missing that black kick. Oh, and right out of the gates, the Psycho knee by Macklin, wasting no time. We're watching what Macklin is physically capable oh. of here. Went for the jar head, but crashed and burned. Oh, my God. oh, Cactus Driver 97 you gotta early be on. Me. Did he get all of it? Oh, and a kick out by Macklin. Right out of the gate. This one is absolutely off the charts. That's what this means to both competitors. A shot to get into that elimination match for the TNA World title. I think that Callahan rushing the Cactus Driver 97 there didn't get to set it up completely there against Macklin. Saved Macklin ultimately here in the early stage of this match. Quite a frenzy to begin things. And they want to get it done quick. They want to get it done and get it over with so they can punch their ticket to Slammiversary. Let's not forget, I mean, a couple of years ago, these two have been in some pretty nasty trenches together. Lest I forget Barbed Wire Massacre in which Steve Macklin came out the victor. That was at Victory Road back in 2022. These two have known each other for about a decade between here and WWE. Ooh. And a big clothesline by Macklin. Macklin, who captured the TNA World Championship after it was relinquished by Josh Alexander oh, late last year at Rebellion. Callahan sidestepped the scud. Take one more look at this as Macklin full head of steam, but Callahan sideswiping the scud. Macklin eats the floor. Callahan with that crazed look in his eye has only one goal on his mind, getting back to his own TNA World Championship opportunity. Now Callahan dies back into the ring. Oh, oh another my... psycho knee there by Macklin. One is good, two is better, and now there's the jar head butt. Cover, hook to the leg. Oh, and a kick out by Callahan. This one has been pedal to the floor since the bell rang. That just shows you exactly what's on the line, exactly how seriously both these guys take it. Oh, and a big right hand there by Macklin. Macklin, you can see his left hand taped up, sustained a broken thumb, and against all odds, teaming with Mike oh. Santana, one and done, as they beat the Rascals. And Steve Macklin offering a, a handshake to Mike Santana at the end of that match, something I thought I would never see, quite frankly. Look out! Oh, the elbow off of the apron! Shades of a TNA legend, Mick Foley. This is what it means to go to Slammiversary to challenge for the TNA world title. We know what that world title meant to Steve Macklin. Felt it left him far too soon. And his goal has been always to get right back to that mountaintop. You better believe he was reminded of that with Against All Odds coming up on the calendar a few weeks ago. Uh -oh, Look out. Oh! Launched by Callahan on the outside of the ring. Let's go, and this one getting nasty like we knew it would. And now the referee issuing the 10 count. I mean, I don't know what happens if neither guy can get to their feet and get back into the ring here. We may not have another entrant into that six-way elimination match at Slammiversary. Count of five applied here by our referee, Frank Gastineau. Macklin starting to stir seven, here. Seven, count of seven. Macklin and Callahan. Slammiversary hangs in the balance. Count of nine, Macklin and Callahan both beat the 10 count. The match continues. Just by the skin of their teeth, they save their title shot. It's a chance to join a field of six altogether, a six-way elimination match for the TNA Whoa. World Championship at Slammiversary. You think this is tough? Wait till you see what awaits live in Montreal. These two, look at this, get Nasty! Oh. oh, wait a minute. Oh, the backbreaker by Macklin. Tucks the arm, here's the cover. Callahan gets the right shoulder up in time. You can never count out Sammy Callahan. The man has been to hell and back in and out of the wrestling ring. What's Macklin got to do to put him away? 
Callahan, who captured his lone TNA World Championship five years ago in a steel cage match against the machine, Brian Cage. So uh, evidence of that toughness. Oh, able to drop Macklin. Great counter there from Callahan. Macklin stays on the offensive until oh, another oh. counter. Another exploder, this one, into the turnbuckle area by Callahan. Macklin crumbled right onto his spine there. Nasty landing, but it bought Callahan some much needed breathing room. If you're Moose and you're seeing the way the competition has already played out, maybe that smile that was all over the face of the franchise last week is going away. Could be. On the other hand, the way these guys are absolutely destroying themselves on the path to Slammiversary? I don't know. Maybe I'm smiling even wider. Oh, raking the back, digging the nails into the skin. Those hands, are, Lord knows where they've been. A nasty death machine. What is in the mind of Sammy Callahan here bringing as he drags Steve Macklin up top. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe trying to get Macklin up for a Cactus Driver 97 off of the top. Eric Young thought about that last week against Josh Alexander. Macklin, though, saw that one coming. And now Macklin himself scales the rope with dangerous intentions for Callahan. What the hell is Macklin thinking about here? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what he's thinking about, Tom. He's thinking about Slammiversary. He's thinking about the TNA World Championship. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Up on the shoulders. On the Death Valley driver off of the top turnbuckle. And going for the Cactus Driver 97 once again. Macklin's kicked out twice now. We got to take a look at this again. First, it was this huge Death Valley driver off the second rope and immediately followed by the Cactus Driver 97. But Tom, somehow, Steve Macklin kicked out again. Early on in the match, like I said, it looked like Callahan rushed into the Cactus Driver 97. Maybe that saved Macklin, but after that sequence, we're understanding just how badly Macklin wants a TNA World title shot, how badly he's willing to fight to get to Slammiversary. I mean, we've always known how tough Steve Macklin is, but Callahan is pushing that to the limit. Oh my God, is he calling for another Cactus Driver? Oh. Oh, uh, Macklin, Macklin responding, oh, blistering the chest. Come on. Fighting out here in the proverbial no man's land of the apron. Uh, look at this hammering away on Callahan. Straight headbutts by the death machine. Both these guys incensed here, haven't been able to end this matchup. A shot at a world title match on the line. Oh, yeah, Macklin, another psycho knee, has gone to them multiple times in this fight. Oh! And the KIA draping off of the ropes. Macklin found an opening, and he put down Callahan. Here is your win.